Hey everyone, so here is my sweet pea kit, and her head won't stay up, but here she is, and I finished painting her yesterday. Um, she came out very, 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 very good, um, and I finished her in one day, surprisingly, like painting-wise. I started at 11 o'clock, finished at 9, well, almost 10, so it's a good 10 hours of work right there straight through that's why because if I um it would take me a couple days if I paint it in like parts but I decided to just paint like all in one day because I had nothing else to do and um she came out really cute you could see her modeling modeling um her lips came out really good I shaded her nose her mouth is shaded in she has pink eyelids and little tiny veins um she has a little bit of blueness in her eyes and she has um, tiny eyebrows, and her modeling just came out so good. Like, I'm so happy with the way that she turned out. She has a little scratch there, a little birthmark there, and a little birthmark there. So she came out, like, amazing. Like, I love her. She is adorable. But right now, I'm just rooting her. Um, I'm actually gonna brush it a little bit. I'm just rooting her now because, um... I want to try to finish her as soon as I can. Um, she'll probably be finished rooted, rooting. I could probably finish rooting by today, but I gave her a little bit of a longer hair, and she's going to have like a tiny bit of a swirl coming up there. Um, a little tiny mohawk in the middle, and I only got this much done so far. But um, she came out very good. Um, I love the way she came out, and... I don't know. I think if you guys were to order customs and you can't afford a Tegan kit, definitely, definitely I recommend the Sweet Pea kit. She looks almost exactly like the um, Tegan. She's a very good alternative to Tegan because um, uh, Tegan and this sculpt, uh, Sweet Pea, are by the same artist, Laura Lee Eagle. So they pretty much look the same except Tegan has a different mouth. They pretty much have the same everything. And she has a little bit of a smaller ears, but... I think she just came out so cute. I'm so excited to be reborning her and having her for myself. I'm going to take her out shopping this weekend because she has no clothes. I might be going to Walmart today to get her um, like a sleeper or something to put her in, but that's about it. She doesn't fit a newborn. She barely fits in it. Um, I think three months might be a little big, so I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to try it, but it's better than having it really small. But yeah. So let me know what you think, and let me know how I did, if you like her, because I absolutely love her so, so much. And her limbs are currently over there on that tray. They're already finished, painted, and waiting. Painted. I painted them and waited them. And I still have to um, finish her belly plate. It only has a couple layers of flesh. I have to do um, modeling, creases, and I have to do, like, her belly button and stuff. But that's about it. And... I love her, and I hope you guys look forward to seeing her in some of my videos. And, yeah, so, like I said, I'll announce the name um, later once the video is all finished. I mean, oh, my goodness, I can't even speak today. It's too early. <laughs> it's only 1030, I think. But, yeah, so let me know. Um, I will announce her name in another video, probably a video tomorrow once I finish her. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Let me know how she looks, if you like her as much as I do. And I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!